For Global Medical News Network, this is Miriam Tucker reporting from the annual meeting of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists at Houston, Texas. We're here with Dr. Eddie Mugisi of UCLA. Dr. Mugisi chaired a task force of ACE along with the American Diabetes Association that has developed a new consensus statement on inpatient glycemic control. Dr. Dr. Mugisi, what led up to the release of the statement at this time? Well, glycemic targets in the hospital setting uh, have been uh, questioned over the past year or so because of uh, several studies that uh, uh, suggested that 80 to 1 target uh, for the ICU patients may not be uh, safe, number one, and, and also may not improve outcome. So ACE decided, uh, because of the emerging evidence, to reconvene its task force and invite the American Diabetes Association um, in, uh, in fall of 2008 to look at this question. Do we need to revise the targets? Um, uh, number one, uh, do these targets improve outcome, these tight targets? Number two, are they safe? And uh, the overwhelming evidence is that uh, perhaps uh, these tight targets are not uh, improving outcome and, and are associated with um, much higher risk of hypoglycemia. Uh, so um, the recommendations uh, sort of began to, to, to emerge, but we decided to wait till the nice sugar study comes out uh, to consider that data as well. Um, so uh, our recommendation was on the basis of all the studies. It was not a knee-jerk reaction to the nice sugar study, although that's a very important study, uh, multi-center, uh, over 6,000 patients in the ICU, which actually suggested that uh, targets of 80 to 110 not only doesn't help but causes uh, is associated with higher risk of mortality in 90 days. Specifically, what are those targets? The targets in the ICU uh, that are recommended now uh, is basically to start IV insulin on uh, patients who have glucose of greater than 180 consistently and uh, to try to uh, reach goal of 140 to 180. Um, we feel that probably uh, the, uh, the higher benefit may be achieved at the lower end, i.e. 140, um, although there, this, the, the evidence is not as robust. Uh, um, and for the non-ICU patients, uh, between, again, uh, between 100 to 180, majority of the patients, 140 to 180, um, and uh, some patients who have been uh, intensively controlled in the outpatient setting, when they are in the hospital, uh, we may be able to continue those type targets. Uh, but again, these are general recommendations and we have to try to individualize the targets when we're dealing with, uh, with the specific patients. Any other uh, messages that physicians and hospitals should take away from this new statement? Yes, uh, I think that we need to make sure that the, the result of the nice sugar study as well as these new recommendations does not cause um, uh, the impression that we feel hyperglycemia in the hospital setting is not important. We know from multiple studies that high glucose is associated with poor clinical outcome. Uh, and therefore, uh, we need to try to really find a balance between safety and good control and, and, and use judgment when we are dealing with uh, individual, individual patients. For Global Medical News Network, this has been Miriam Tucker reporting live from Houston, Texas.